In this video, I'm going to show you how you can color code a list by the destination of where they're going or where they are right now. So here I have my list of heavy equipment that I've used before, and we have um, statuses. Now the statuses, this is where I've named my destination list, and it's either active, repair, or warranty. And how I've done that is I've selected this, those cells, named the rain des destination, and then I've gone to my data tab. I've gone to conditional formatting. On this cell here, I've gone to data validation and selected list. And then I say equal destination, which is the values that are in this named range. Okay, so now we have this some of this equipment and we want to make sure we know where things are so you, nobody you, um, registers to use them. So if we go, this is out for repair, then it changes the background of the whole row to blue. Now, if it's back on warranty, it's gone to the manufacturer because of warranty, then we're going to color code it red. Now, you can you could have done this by conditional formatting, but this one is works better. You don't have to refresh the page for the conditional formatting to work. And so what I've done is I've written the code right on, on the sheet itself. So let's right click the sheet and go view code. And it's just simple. It's simple for the fact that you say um, when there's something on the value on the sheet changes. So worksheet changed by value target range and R is a row, L is the last row. Um, and so if not application intersects between D, so D is my column where I have whether either active or wherever, target address nothing, then last row equals active cells, row three, row two count. So I'm counting, I go to the bottom to make sure that if there's anything in the description, then make sure it goes through all of them. And so I set my range, equals D2 to D in last row. So that's including all of them. And for each cell in, in your plate, which is your range, my page, um, I select a case cell value, case equals repair, then entire row color index, interior color index equals eight, which is blue. And case is warranty, cell entire row and color index is three. Now, Here's what I've done on the bottom, cell entire row. If it's not one of those, it's going to be blank. There's not going to be an interior color. So you don't, so it's once, once you change it for to something like active, it's going to go automatically back to the, to the blank color code. So let then go and select next if, if next and then end if active workbook save. So you have everything there. Now, just to show you that, it's like, so we have this on here of going for repair. So let's bring it back. And so now we can say it's active and all of a sudden our um, blue goes away without having to do anything else to it. And it works for every one of them. So there you go. I will, of course, include the code in the description of my video. If you're interested in this type of thing, I have an introduction to VBA for Excel course, and I'll have the link in my description. Please subscribe.